And something's gone horribly wrong here. Ah, well, would you look at that? Hey guys, Seth and in here. Hope you're having a great day today. Thanks so much for all your continued support on Terra Tech videos. I'm back here with some more Terra Tech. So thanks so much for all your comments and and the subscribes and everything with the Terra Tech stuff. Appreciate it so much. Thank you, Einar, for your comment. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. And thanks, as always, Zed Yes, for your continued comments. He had a lot of great comments on what what things can happen. I did fix that wall over yonder on the east side here, which in the last video I kept calling the west side for some reason, but this is the east side, north facing that way. So this is the east side here. And yeah, some reason that it was just a bug glitch, I think. So I had the post over here and it was not connecting to the ground. I just took off the post and put it in a different location. That seemed to work okay. As I mentioned, I might want to put multiple posts down, which I think works fine with the yellow blurt bricks. Oh, sorry. With the yellow bricks and the yellow blocks. I think that works okay. I haven't tested the gray ones. I think before gray ones were giving me some problems. But anyway, here I've got some... Uh, some miners going. So this is going to be the scrapyard, not miners. What am I talking about? So this is going to be the new scrapyard. I am uh, getting a little bit nauseous. <laughs> Spinning around. This is just a little bit of lag again. And I think it's because I've got all those miners set up in the other areas there and things. So, uh, so I think there's going to be a little bit of lag. I might end up just yanking those out. I read on the... Uh, forums and news posts there that they say they hold up to now a thousand blocks so they'll be there for quite a while i have let them run for quite a bit i'm just going to do that hang on we can go check them out actually so let's head over here oh just about ran right into that yeah it's getting a little bit low frame it's getting some of those frames lost there's a group of guys over there i've been trying to get rid of all the missions but one of the mission guys spawned inside a mountain, so that's not doing super good. And something's gone horribly wrong here. Ah, well, would you look at that? I somehow, uh, okay, so some, some craziness has, gone, <laughs> has happened. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's uh, fix this right away. Um, I started setting up multiple auto miners. Let's, uh, hang on a second, where, uh, let's do, do you think there's enough there for Hawkeye stuff? Should work, maybe. Uh, let's do let's do G G S O the G uh, fabricator. I need the fabricator. Where's the fabricator? You think I'd ooh, static delivery cannon? Where's the fabricator? Component factory. Do I have any? I don't have any left. What? Okay. Oh, huge disaster. Okay, let's switch over to. Uh, I feel like Hawkeye is gonna be too much, but thousand. Hawkeye Fabricator, let's just do it. Let's do it. Will this work? What? Oh. I really wish they would uh, make it so that it's easy to see which way is the front. Because you get so many rotation options. Let's see, is that actually even... Okay, that's going to work. So let's do that. We'll go over here. Uh, this is all the carbide, right? I believe. Uh, wish they could... Uh, match. Yeah, carbius. Uh, let's do carbius block. Craft. Of course, it'd be carbius, so it wouldn't be rubber, so that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, look at this mess. Oh my gosh. So, Zedias mentioned you could probably s s stack auto miners. I'm not sure how to do that. What a mess. Look at what's going on here. Oh my gosh, what has gone on? Oh, somehow the Celestite is being picked up over here. Thought this was far enough away. Oh my goodness, this is just disaster. <laughs> okay, let's, let's uh, fix this as well. So we got over here. So Zia, Zed mentioned that you could stack auto miners. I'm not sure if that has been fixed or not. I haven't been able to stack them. And I'm not sure. What, so that was, I think, uh, an exploit in the game uh, that people were able to get around. So I think, boy, I don't know if I make, I really need some fabricators. Um, just from... Hmm. Uh, 64 is too big and then the venture is only 8 which takes too long to make. Let's run back really quick and make a fabricator. I had no idea things were going that kind of crazy. Here I was just in my own little world 
just saying, oh, you know what, things are going fine. Uh, all right, this one's busy with something. Let's go over to the other side. I've <laughs> been trying to make more filter arrows because I've got a lot of filtering stuff ideas and things for the scrapyard, but I haven't had a chance yet to get over there. So I need a fabricator, just a fabricator. Two plumite, carbius, and uh, rhodius capsule. I think I have a bunch of rhodius. In fact, what we should do is maybe make a couple more factories too, so we'll do that. And then let's just check our let's just check our supply, make sure I've got enough rhodius capsules. I've got a few. I think that's enough to make just need a few of those guys too. Wow, so much is happening. We've got it under control, do we? Not quite yet, but we will soon. Okay, yeah, uh, let's see. Where's my arrows? 27. Uh, maybe that's pretty good for now. I can always make more later, I guess. So let's uncheck that guy. Like that. That's pretty good. It'd be super awesome if they can add like a counter, you know, how many you want to make of something. That would be awesome. I just want to check the supplies to see if there's actually a fabricator in here. There is not. Hmm. Okay, so... Alright. Need the fabricator to come online to see if we can't fix those supplies. I thought I had them far enough away. And there's some little things getting caught on bricks, of course, right in between those two. How does that happen? Right in between the two blocks. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Okay. Let's head over here and see how we're going. Uh, so, okay. So things are moving here okay. Just the problem. Oh, yeah. So I was mentioning I can't... I, you can get them side by side like this, which seems to me not too bad. There used to be an exploit where you can stack auto miners on top of one another to mine faster. I don't know if you could still do that or if they fixed it. I haven't been able to get them on top of each other. So I'll maybe do some more reading on that later and try to figure out if you can still do that or not. What a mess. This is just a huge disaster. Because <laughs> there's two two spots of Carbius Brick, two, uh, two resource plots of Carbius Brick right there. So they're pretty handy next to each other. So then I ended up putting a bunch of, a couple of auto miners on each of the, each of the uh, resource, I don't know what you call them, resource hole, the mining spots. How long before we get one of these guys? Yes, so refinery fabricator. We got the fabricator going. We got two. Okay, that's good enough. Let's do that. Let's zip back. This is crazy. I was just planning to do just refinery stuff or uh, scrapyard stuff today, but some things like this come up and you have to address, address them, right? That's the whole point. Okay, let's stick a guy on there like that. That's great. Let's go up here. Let's make some celestite. Uh, yeah, let's craft a repeat. Uh, so I might have to come back and fix this up a bit more. Not sure why this spot was picking up the Celestite, other than maybe it was flying out too far, maybe? Everything is quite in close proximity, so we'll see how it goes. How many of these do I have now, anyway? Uh, Titania, that's the wrong one. That's probably why. 21 and 27, so lots of Carbius Brick, lots of... Celestite. It's really awesome that these last now for quite a while. As I mentioned, somebody on the forum said it was about a thousand, I think, inside each of those little mining spots. So that's really awesome because I am out of igneous brick. So I'm or, uh, out of igneous uh, uh, igneous resource. The orange guy, orangeite, <laughs> igneous. So I'm out of this guy. He's running out of igneous crystal there. And I checked the desert beside me, and there's only one spot that I can see that I actually have. So I'm going to turn this guy off. I think we've got enough of those guys. So having them last a lot longer is great. So I might have to head out to the desert and set up some of those things. And uh, Zed just mentioned that we could probably put up some erudite uh, miners as well back in the forest. So before I had trouble finding those ones, just because they blend into the trees maybe, but... Uh, they should be a worthwhile means of supply as well. I also found out you're better off not selling uh, the blocks as a whole. So you're better off selling the resources individually rather than as a block as a whole. So let's just take a look at Celestite here. So Celestite, so it's worth 240 a piece, but then Celestite block, let's do uh, Venture. Uh, do I have a Celestite Venture block? 
Oh wow, I've got tons of them. Oh yeah, right, because that one guy is doing... So this is eight, and you only get 640 for eight. So it's, uh, it's better to actually sell these individually. Because uh, eight at Europe, but yeah, basically. So much better to sell those resources individually. I also found uh, the components are better, so on these big tires, so if I go to Geocorp here, these great big tires, you're actually better off, if you want to sell them, you're better off breaking them apart into resources. So once again, if you look at this guy, it's only 609 for the whole tire. But if you break them apart and sell them in their components, they're actually quite a lot better. So you get hardened titanic and titanic alloy and these cyclone jets, each one of these pieces uh, adds up to a lot more than, than the price of a tire. So it's much better to, if you're looking for some cash, hola, to break them apart into components and sell the components rather than just selling the tires. So might do that as well. Okay, it looks like I did figure it out here. It looks like you can overlap the auto miners. So you can actually place them uh, just a little bit off center from the other one. So here I've got about 11 auto miners going. So you can actually do this uh, pretty good. This is a great idea. So I was thinking on top that you actually had to stack them above each other, which, or beside each other, which does work, but you can actually just, they allow you to, yeah, basically overlap them a bit. So that's pretty cool. That's an awesome idea. Thanks a lot, Zed. Okay, here we have the scrapyard. Boy, all that time and we haven't even got to the scrapyard yet. So this is my plan so far. I wanted space on the ground so that I can just drop elements right on the ground. So I can just go psh, place them right on the ground there. I don't have to worry about them accidentally snapping to anything like that. So I got a nice spot in the middle. Then I want to refine any of the ores uh, that come out that are unrefined. So anything that's not refined should go into the refineries, get them refined. Put a couple of access filters here. That's just going to make sure the unrefined chunks get get refined if they make it past. Um, so I found, yeah, double arrows around everything is good because if you have multiple, if you've got that three or more issue, then uh, three blocks side by side, then they'll bypass, they'll bypass the uh, filter arrows, right? So let's go over here, manufacturing blue. I can't wait to see, actually I don't need that, I can just Conveyor belt, 140 conveyor belts. Hmm, wonder if that's enough to do what I'm gonna do. So, all right, I'm going to see here. Okay, yeah, so basically they come up, go through if they're refined or not refined, they'll go back around, do another lap, but they all should be refined at this point. Three, three refineries is probably more than enough at a time, but we'll see how that goes. Then, if they are refined, we want them to go in and we're just gonna sort them on this yellow platform. So the idea is they'll come in, get sorted on the platform, and then we can do some productivity stuff as far as scrapyard stuff, which is cool. Okay, I'm gonna do this for a while and then I will uh, BRBs. Hey guys, I'm back with Almost no frames, but we're back anyway. <laughs> so I think the scrapyard is done. So I did a, I had to do a couple trial and error type things, but I think I got everything sorted out well enough. I decided to kind of build a little bit similar to the regular factory uh, that I have as opposed to just kind of doing anything kind of fresh from scratch. So basically just two lines coming in and they just kind of feed in to each of the pads. Each of the pads have different filters. I use the giant pads because I figured, hey, why not? Those big pads are pretty good and they're about the right size. The little pads are a little bit too small. Mostly I just want to make the venture size resource blocks. So that's really all I cared about. I made a mistake thinking I needed two paths out from the block, so I was gonna do what I did in my factory and have two paths out, but I think that isn't the way to do it. I think all I need is a single path because I'm not gonna be manufacturing a lot apart from just those blocks. So I think that should be okay. And then I set up here, of course, a way to get rid of a bunch of things as well. So I've got the uh, cannon here that's going to uh, 
sell stuff that I don't want to keep. And then I'll have a backup pad over here for any components, that kind of thing. Okay, so I think we're good to go. It's very, very framey. So one of the things I might do is actually head back. Uh, I might pack up the scrapyard and move it to a different location. I think as long as it's far enough away from the other base, maybe that'll work better for efficiency type things, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to, let's try it out. Let's try the scrapyard and see what happens. So let's start with uh, the regular bricks here. So basically everything here should just get, I should just be able to do piles. Actually, I should just be able to go nuts. Burr, 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 burr. As long as they don't go flying off like that. Uh, I should have maybe just tried a couple to see what they were like first. And then I can go through, this is the best part about the factory, is I can just go through and scrap whatever, anything that I don't really use at all very much. Or if I have a hundred of these, these things, for instance, you might be like, well, don't really need 187 of these kind of things, these girders or especially the tires, that sort of thing. Uh, the only thing I want to try to avoid is the components, but I guess if anything has components, I'll just sell it, make some quick cash, and then uh, we'll be able to buy other resource blocks and things that we need to make components. So let's see if things are happening here. So things have popped through the refineries. Uh, turn, uh, drive forward. Oh, I'm stuck. Ah. I'm stuck on something. My little guy's trying to drive underneath <laughs> without seeing. Uh, and it looks like one got by, so that the pattern of three is really kind of a problem. Looks like one got by, so I'll end up just probably selling him if I can. Whoops, let's get uh, reoriented here. Let's try to look the right direction. Oh, so framey, so framey. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so yeah. So this guy ended up up here, which is fine. So then I should be able to go like this and just sell them off. And I wanted to make sure that there was kind of a block. So I used a lot more filters this time just so that we can stop. So things like this that happened here, eh? Some Fibron got through. Hmm. So I might need to build like a lap, a way to lap around again, it looks like. So I might do that for next time. But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. I think the scrapyard is successful. I guess we haven't tried building anything yet, but uh, it should work. All of that should just come right from the outsource. So we can even just try a little bit here. We'll just build one and it'll start. It should grab everything. And I think that will work great. I think can't see why I wouldn't see. Yeah. Pulling it all down, it's gonna come through here, go through there. It's gonna work perfectly, oh, absolutely perfect. So I need a way to loop back around, just in case some of these guys get missed. But that's gonna be it for today. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot, guys. See you again real soon. Have a great day. Bye bye.